There are some contradictions in the Quran. Let me just give you a few of them. Well, Allah created everything in the twinkling of an eye. That's Surah 54, 49, and 50. No, it says he did it in two days. That's Surah 41, not verses 9 and 12. No, he did it in four days. That's Surah 41, verse 10. No, he did it in six days. That's Surah 7, 54, 10, 4, 32, 4. A day is a thousand years. That's Surah 32, 5. No, it's 50,000 years. That's Surah 74. Jesus is not the Son of God, Surah 4, verse 171, but he is, Surah 19, verses 17 through 21, and so forth. There are scientific errors, there are Arabian legends uh, that are treated as fact, there's a lot of superstition about the jinns and so forth. We don't have time to go into it. You got some serious problems. Now, however, the Quran says the Bible is true. <laughs> and Muslims are to ask, quote, the people of the book for enlightenment. That's the Bible, the book. That's Surah 21.7. The Hadith attests to the virgin birth, the sinless life, and the miracles of Christ. The Quran says, quote, Christ is the highest example. That's Surah 43, 57. He was born of a virgin. That's Surah 3, 45 through 47. Uh, Surah 21, 91, and so forth. He alone is called Issa. That means Savior. You find that in Surah 43, 57. The Quran says Muhammad couldn't do any miracles. You find that Surah 17, 90 through 96, Surah 29, 50, and so forth. But it says Christ did miracles. You'll find that in Surah 2, verse 252 and 253, Surah 349, and so forth. And it says that he, unlike Moses and Aaron, who did it by the power of God, the Quran says Jesus did miracles by his own power. Surah 26, verse 63, and so forth. It even says, the Quran says, Jesus raised the dead. Surah 349, Surah 5110. I can give you more references, but let's move on. The Quran says, Muhammad was a sinner. And you read the history of Muhammad, and you have no doubt about that. I mean, he, he planned 65 campaigns. He personally led 27. Pillage and plunder and murder to get riches to spread Islam. The Quran says Muhammad was a sinner. Uh, Surah 943, 4055, 4719, and so forth. The Quran also says Jesus was sinless. That's Surah 19, 17 through 19, and so forth. Now, You've got a lot of holy books out there, scriptures of various religions. We're going to, we're, we're, now we're just considering, we're going to look to religion. You can't read all of them, folks. There are too many religions. You can't possibly study them all. You wouldn't live long enough. So what am I going to do? I mean, how do I know which one is right? I'm going to have to read all of these and, and study them all. I'll tell you how you can save a lot of time. The Koran is pointing you to the Bible. Well, let's start with the Bible. Go to the Bible first. And if you can prove the Bible is true, you've saved a lot of time because the Bible itself says all the rest of them are false. So if you can prove the Bible is true, you saved a lot of time. You don't have to bother with the rest of them. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus claimed to be God. Now, just logically, I mean, look, you can't say, well, first of all, you couldn't read uh, the sayings of Jesus. You couldn't read the testimony of Scripture about Jesus without concluding that Jesus 
was a good man. But wait a minute. A good man doesn't go around claiming to be God. Unless he is. And Jesus very clearly claimed to be God. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. He didn't say I was. I am. He used the very name for God that God used in the Old Testament. For example, in Exodus 3, when <clears throat> God appears to, uh, to Moses in the flaming bush, tells him to go to Egypt to deliver his people, Moses says, who will I say sent me? What is your name? By the way, Allah is not a generic term for God. It's the name of a God. Allah is the moon God in the Kaaba, which exists today, which is part of the, uh, you have to make a Hajj. That's one of the five pillars of, of Islam. You must, during your lifetime, go to Mecca. And you go there and you rub the black stone, which is still there. This was an idol temple, 300 and some idols. There was an idol there for every caravan group that might pass through Mecca. You rub the black stone that supposedly fell uh, from Jupiter. And then you go to a ravine and you throw rocks at the devil. Exactly what they were doing in Muhammad's day. The chief god, the chief idol in the Kaaba was Allah. You go to Israel today, you go into the Dome of the Rock, and there are verses from the Quran that are inscribed inside the Dome of the Rock in Arabic. And one of them is from the Quran. It says, Allah is not a father and he has no son. Is not the God of the Bible. Allah is the name of the moon god, and that's why you see the crescent moon uh, on the minarets and, and the flags.